at you, darling. Now, listen, you're a marvellous agent. You've got me some wonderful jobs in the past, but this new play you just sent me, well, I don't think I'm right for the part. <laughs> well, I could be wrong, but I just don't see myself as a mother superior. <laughs> now, if it was one of those nice little French farces, one of those dear little bedroom romps, <laughs> well, I don't really call that acting. Oh, it's a television. Who? Morton and White. <laughs> Morecambe and Wise. Well, who are they? They've got your fat, hairy what? <laughs> oh, no, darling, no, no, no. I'd much rather not be in a show like that. Thank you. Oh, well, I've got to go now. There's somebody at the door. You mean that's going to be Morecambe and Wise? You mean to say that you told them they could just come here and see me? You are terrible. Well, I'll ring you back. Miss Vanilla Fielding? Oh, what a strange coincidence. That's my name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do come in, Miss Fielding. Passionate affair. 
She loved him with a fire and a passion. She loved him as no woman has ever loved a man before or since. He, she knew that he was all man, and he knew that she was all woman. <laughs> Yes, it's true. I'll, I'll trust her. Oh, she was Good night, Mr. White. I'll see you later. Oh, well, 